when you watch the breath. You're not watching it with your eyes, you're feeling it with your body. The word watching here seems simply to observe, notice what's happening. Make this the most important thing, the most interesting thing in your life right now. This is a quality called intent. You really focus on what you're doing. You give it your full attention. Because after all, the things that are causing suffering are happening all the time right here. We're looking past them because we're paying attention to other things outside or other issues inside our own minds. But either way, we're, we're missing what's actually going on right here, right now, because we're not paying full attention. So the practice is the sort of thing that really deserves your full attention. There's so many tasks that we take on in the world that don't require that much attention. But as you practice, you realize that you've got to take on certain chores outside, certain tasks that you do outside with your full attention, so that becomes a habit. Otherwise it becomes habitual. We, don't, we do things we don't know what we're doing. Our minds are someplace else. So there are a lot of things outside that you could let them go. You could be a little sloppy, but that becomes a habit that you develop in your own mind. So the tasks we do in the course of the day are things that you want to give your full attention to so that it becomes a habit, and then you bring it into the mind as you're sitting here with your eyes closed, and give full attention to what you're doing right here, right now. And that way the things that have been obscured by your ignorance suddenly become clear, because you're the one that's obscuring them. You have thoughts that deal with other issues, other things. You're not paying full attention to what, what the Buddha says is happening right now, and it's causing you suffering right now. And the fact that you notice that you're suffering, that's a good sign. And then from there you get some conviction that maybe the Buddha knows what he's talking about. So based on that conviction, you really want to commit yourself to what you're doing. And then you reflect. This is where you take his teachings and you make them your Dharma. In other words, they become a reality inside you. We're not just doing whatever the Buddha says and obeying, obeying, and not thinking about it, not observing. You've got to stop and observe. I mean, look at the Buddha himself. That's how he gained awakening. He would follow a path and he would really give himself to that path. So he gave the path a fair test. And then he could ask himself, what are the results? And he found so many paths didn't work. But he kept on looking, looking, looking. And he finally found a path that did work. By that time, his powers of reflection had become so solid and so clear that he could trust them because he'd been using them all along. So in the same way, when you're generous, reflect on your generosity. What ways of being generous make you feel that you've accomplished something of importance? When you observe the precepts, which precept do you find is the one that you have to watch out most for and gives you a sense of satisfaction when you do observe it? For a lot of us, it's the precepts around, around our mouths. And then when you meditate, what kind of meditation really gives you the best results? We talk about the breath a lot around here because that's the most basic meditation technique. And you'll have to get to it at some point. But some people find that they have to think about other topics first before their minds are willing to settle down. Well, how do you know what applies to you? You try things out and you give them a serious test. And then you look at the results. As the Buddha said, it's through commitment and reflection that we learn the Dhamma. And that the Dharma gets nourished inside us, makes it our Dharma, not just the Buddha's Dharma, but the Dharma that gets results for us. And then we can speak with total confidence about what we've learned, because we've seen these realities appear within us. They're not just concepts in books or in audio tapes. It's the reality of the Dharma that appears inside. So. Give your full attention to what you're doing right now, and make that a habit, because it's at the basis for all the Dharma that you're going to learn.